A rare honor in Britain for President Ronald Reagan. This morning on the 4th of July, our 40th president gets his own statue in London. And CBS News correspondent Elizabeth Palmer has more. A crowd of admirers, most Americans, took their seats in one of London's leafiest and most historic parks for the ceremony, which marks the 100th anniversary of Ronald Reagan's birth. Or as I think he would describe it, the 61st anniversary of his 39th birthday. The backdrop was festive 4th of July pomp, and the dignitaries included former Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice. But one key figure was missing. Margaret Thatcher, Britain's Prime Minister during Ronald Reagan's term in office and his staunchest international ally. Too frail to attend, Lady Thatcher asked Britain's Foreign Secretary to read a tribute on her behalf. Ronald Reagan was a great president and a great man, a true leader for our times. He held clear principles and acted upon them with purpose. Ten feet tall and cast in bronze, the statue of Ronald Reagan was commissioned by the Reagan Foundation and paid for by private donors. Ronald Reagan's financial and social conservatism still make him a controversial figure here in the UK. But he is widely admired for his diplomatic skills and especially his willingness to engage the Soviet Union and help end the Cold War. It is for his international statesmanship that Ronald Reagan will be remembered on this side of the Atlantic and for a rare combination of skill, luck and courage that gave him a giant's role in modern history. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, London.